thank you very much. Uh, this is another sad occasion that we gather together around the death of another young black or Latino child in this city. I will not repeat what has been said by so many, but I want to ask the question, where is the moral leadership in this city? Where is the moral leadership from the Catholic Church? Where is the moral leadership from the archdiocese that are concerned about an unborn child but doesn't give a damn about a 13, 14, 15, or 16 year old boy, a child? Taking a look at Kamani Gray and that picture of that young boy who looks like he was only 13 or 14 years of age, a child. How does seven bullets end up in the body of that boy? And we have no, in the back of that boy, in the body of that boy, and we have no more excuse than the 41 bullets that was fired at Amadou Diallo. That is where we are now. But let me get back to this two issues. Where is the moral leadership in this city? We have a mayor who says that he's concerned about gun control and sugary drinks, but he doesn't care about the death of this child. What kind of leader is he? His legacy will be that of blood on his hands, the blood from the bodies of our children. Where is the moral leadership? And we are so thankful to have here today uh, Reverend Phelps from Riverside Church. But where are the other Reverend Phelps in this city? Where are you? Where are the spineless elected officials who gather together on any other cause but cannot form a protest that involves all of the elected leadership because we know that they are in the pockets of the plutocracy and oligarchy of this city. And believe me, it's not just about Mayor Bloomberg, but it is about the police, a residential Gestapo who serves at the interest of New York City's oligarchy. That's what we're talking about. We need to place this in the proper political context. And it starts with who we send to office and what demands we make on those elected officials. We need a congressional hearing here in New York City, a congressional hearing in which we hear case after case after case of police wanton murder and execution of young black and Latino men. This is an issue that we as non-governmental organization should take to the International Criminal Court for the violation of human rights of blacks and Latinos here. We can no longer confine ourselves to business as usual. We must look at new venues and new avenues in which our struggle becomes that of a global struggle, a global struggle of human rights violations and the message to New York City because this will be a blowback against them. Their wanton death of young black and Latinos will blow back on white communities because they can't stop and pretty soon there's going to be a young white kid from a middle class family that they are going to blow away and all of a sudden as we are seeing in the prison industrial complex mass incarceration because the number of whites who are entering into prison have spiked because of the met crisis in the midwest so brothers and sisters our battle is one of a people's assembly. We have to come together with an agenda, an agenda that goes beyond our neighborhoods. 
and with a leadership that will not be compromised, that Mayor Bloomberg cannot buy out, that he will not be able to pour in millions of dollars or thousands of dollars to a non-for-profit organization and what little action on the street is suddenly pulled off until there's another crisis. We need a sustainable movement, a sustainable global, local, national movement that is about an end to genocide in our communities. Thank you so much. Yeah, see, I told you it's going to get real hot out here. We got.